Well, hi everybody and welcome to week two. I'm learning how to make a video on the run and you can probably see a fairly messy background and the fan going in the distance because it's still quite hot in Sydney. But welcome everybody and it's lovely to see you all introducing yourselves on the discussion forums. We've got a lot of students, some um, 170, with the bulk being from um, New South Wales, um, but quite a lot from other parts of Australia. And we have one Swiss student, uh, which is lovely. So welcome, Greta. That's really good. I hope you all enjoy the subject. So this is week one, and what are you doing? You're reading the introductory module, and you're beginning to read module two the information environment and um, you're, that's particularly useful for the first assessment task that's you know the first real assessment task which is your literature review on an issue of information management and we begin this course with information management because information is really the bread and butter of the teacher librarian role. Um, okay so what else are you doing? You're getting your think space ready I think it's really fun playing with think space. You may disagree with me, but I hope you're enjoying it. And so you might also be drafting the response to the first task, which is due next Monday, the 3rd of March. So this is the wording of the task. Sometimes I'll look away from the camera. Reflecting on your experiences of school libraries thus far, write a 500 word piece about how you think the role of the TL is perceived by parents and stroke community in schools. Um, I've noticed on the discussion forum, people are thinking about what does community mean? And I think if you just restrict it to the community of this school and parents, so it would be parents, teachers, students, and you know, include the admin staff in the school who are often the best friends of the library. Okay, so you are to use first person on your blog reflections and you're asked to include some in-text references and or hyperlinks and to include a, um, a reference list. Obviously in a um, reflection this size, you wouldn't really have any more than one or two um, in-text references and uh, entries in your reference list because this is a very small task, just getting you using your blog, really. So if you had one or two, you might look in, um, you might look at some of the readings to do with the role of the teacher librarian in module three to see what the ideal role is and perhaps how that contrasts with what the parents and the school community thinks or confirms. So I just suggest you have a quick little look in Module 3 for some articles about the role of the teacher librarian. And um, I've noticed that looking on the, um, on the forums, nobody's mentioned the peer review. So the peer review is 300 words and it's the second part of the task. And it asks you to pr provide a constructive comment on another person's post, looking at the design of the blog the navigation and the content of the post and different perceptions and understandings of the role of the TL. Obviously, it's got to be really short because it's only 300 words. So this morning, I've put another column in the Think Space uh, URL's Google document that's attached to the sidebar. So if you could go in there, put as you make your Think Space, and I've noticed that a lot of you already have, which is great. Um, so put your address of your own blog and in the second column that I've just added, if you could put in the address of the person that you're choosing to peer review, that'd be really good. Okay, what else about it? Uh, the assignment says, include a statement on your blog about copyright using Creative Commons and already that's causing some consternation, which it often does. Okay, so what you do or what you can do is go to the Creative Commons website and um, there's a, a part of it that says choose your license. So you choose your license and the one that I chose in experimenting with this 
was the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike 4.0 International Licence. Now, once you've made your choice of, of a um, Creative Commons licence, then there comes up some HTML code, which allows you to copy and then go into the sidebar of the dashboard of your site. So if you go into the sidebar um, to footer content and copy and paste there and refresh, and then you'll find that the, um, the license will appear at the bottom of your blog. And if you find that too complex, it's perfectly all right, I repeat, perfectly all right, just to put somewhere in your first post that you've visited the Creative Commons uh, website and you understand um, the kind of license that your blog needs. So that's fine. Um, another thing about ThinkSpace, I've noticed myself when I log in, you know, you go to the thinkspace.csu.edu.au and you log in and you, you don't appear to be logged in. I don't know whether you've had that happen. But if you go to the top right hand corner of the ThinkSpace um, page, you'll see that you are logged in at the top. So if you just you know, pull down there your icon or your name, and you'll be able to go to your own dashboard. So I hope that's clear. The Creative Commons thing causes consternation every time. Please note that it really is okay to just note on your um, on your ThinkSpace page that you understand Creative Commons license for your work on your blog. Okay, what else has happened? Nothing I mean, much really. I've been looking in the discussion forums and everyone is very friendly and welcoming to one another. This is wonderful. Uh, some of you are nervous about managing the workload. That's understandable because I noticed that so many of you have young families and you're balancing the workload of tiny kids, which I really fully understand. Um, and you're also, some of you are working full time. Uh, many of you are working as primary teachers, which is really interesting to find out. And um, some, probably half, maybe not quite as many as that, are already working in school libraries. So that's really exciting. So this is week one and good luck with it. And I've put in, um, as an announcement, a, the subject schedule, which I really advise you to um, download and put somewhere really convenient for you to, to use so you know what's happening all the time. Okay, so onwards with week one. Bye bye.